Have you ever wondered about the kingdoms that history forgot, those that once flourished but now lay shrouded in mystery? Today, we delve into one such enigma, the Kingdom of Kush, a potent civilization that once thrived, but now resides largely in the shadows of history. Situated in what is now Sudan, the Kingdom of Kush was a beacon of power and prosperity. It was no mere subordinate to its northern neighbor ancient Egypt as you might initially think. No, the Kingdom of Kush stood tall as a significant political and economic powerhouse in its own right, contemporaneous to the pharaohs and their grand dynasties. The Kushites were not just bystanders in the theater of ancient history, they were key players, contributing to the rich tapestry of human civilization. Yet, despite their influence and power, they've remained largely forgotten. So what happened to this once thriving kingdom that led to its obscurity in the annals of history? The tale of the Kingdom of Kush begins around 2000 BC, nestled in the fertile basin of the Nile River. Its roots took hold with the establishment of its capital at Kerma, a bustling city teeming with the energy of a nascent civilization. From the onset, Kush shared a complex relationship with its northern neighbor, ancient Egypt. The tapestry of their history was woven with threads of trade, conflict, and periods of Egyptian domination. Yet despite these outside influences, Kush thrived. It was a kingdom of resilience, absorbing elements from foreign cultures while fiercely maintaining its own identity. And as the centuries rolled on, Kush began to flex its cultural muscles. Its art, language, and religion flourished, painting a vibrant picture of a civilization in full bloom. But the true pinnacle of Kushite power was yet to come, heralding a golden age that would leave an indelible mark on history. Fast forward to the 8th century BC when Kush truly began to shine. This was a period of grandeur, a golden age when the Kushite kings held sway not just over Kush, but also over Egypt, establishing the 25th dynasty of Egypt. Imagine a time when rulers from the heart of Africa reigned over the land of the pharaohs, this era was marked by a remarkable fusion of cultures, as the Kushite kings embraced and propagated Egyptian traditions, while infusing their own unique Nubian elements. It was a time of architectural prowess, epitomized by the construction of pyramids. Yes, pyramids in Kush. These Nubian pyramids, smaller but far more numerous than their Egyptian counterparts, were a testament to the architectural genius of the Kushites. Yet the achievements of the Kushites weren't limited to architecture. The Kushites developed the Meroitic script, one of Africa's earliest writing systems. This was a significant cultural milestone, marking the evolution of Kush from a society reliant on oral traditions to one with a flourishing written culture. Economically, Kush thrived. Its position on the Nile made it a hub of trade, connecting Africa, the Mediterranean, and the Near East. Gold from the deserts of Kush fueled its economy, earning it the Greek moniker Ethiopia, or Land of Burnt Faces, and the biblical reference as the Land of Gold. However, as with all great civilizations, change was on the horizon. The winds of change started to blow around the 4th century AD, marking the beginning of the end for the Kingdom of Kush. A combination of factors led to the decline of this once mighty civilization. The prosperous trade routes that had previously sustained Kush started to shift, causing a significant economic decline. Political instability further exacerbated the situation, as power struggles and internal conflicts began to tear at the fabric of the kingdom. As the decline continued, the kingdom of Aksum, another powerful African civilization, began to rise to prominence in the region. This shift of power marked a significant turning point in African history. The capital city of Meroe, once a thriving hub of culture and commerce, was eventually abandoned marking the fall of the Kingdom of Kush. But even as the kingdom fell, its legacy was far from forgotten. The influence of Kush on African history is profound. Its architectural innovations, cultural traditions, and political structures have shaped the development of many African societies. Moreover, the Kingdom of Kush serves as a powerful reminder of the rich and diverse history of the African continent, often overlooked in mainstream historical narratives. The Kingdom of Kush may have faded into the backdrop of history, but its legacy continues to echo through the sands of time.